Hello and welcome back to the Powder Toy. I'm I'm your host, not Keemstar, and uh, let's see what we have on the front page today. We got art, art, art. Okay, this looks kind of cool. <laughs> this looks kind of cool. Look at that. That is that is quite the weapon. I want to see it fire. Uh, let's see what we've got here. It's definitely a way to fire it. I'm gonna guess it's this. No? This one has a green- Oh! Lee Guacamole! Wow. Alright. So it would appear that it is definitely using a plasma-based weapon here. Um, quite a powerful one as well. It fills the chamber with plasma and it seems to just blow it out as quickly as possible. It's also well aimed so that it doesn't accidentally destroy anything within the city. Uh, that's always good design. And it would appear that they're using Repel, uh, and no Diamond, which gets extra points for me. I, I'm not a huge fan of using Diamond for things. Uh, let's go ahead and do some testing to see how powerful this bad boy really is. Uh, let's just put, like, the Death Star in front of it. Here, one second, I'll be artistic. Uh, what's the button? That's the button. Mm, yes. Death Star. Mmm. Just like in the movies. It looks so accurate. Very, very good. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's see how this bad boy functions. Psh! Oh, shoot. Oh, I was expecting far more than that. I guess this is why they had to fly an X-Wing into it. Turns out that the, uh... The Death Star is actually quite hard to destroy. Mm, and this thing takes quite a while to reload. A uh, very slight issue with it. I mean, technically we're putting so much thermal energy into the Death Star. If we continue doing this, it should just continue to heat up and boil everyone inside of it alive. Uh, which is, I'd say, an effective means of attack, but... Uh... I don't know, I was, I was expecting a little bit better, um, a little bit better. Let's see if I can get a less rinky-dink Death Star, I'm sure, I'm sure someone has made one that isn't awful. Death Star. Into the death, here, here we go. This one's beautiful. Uh, one second, I need to give proper credit, credit where credit is due, MG99, good, good work. Good work. All right, let's go ahead and go back to the front page and uh, put this proper Death Star here. This one's made out of coal and wax. I don't think it's gonna last very long. Um. Ooh! <laughs> Damn! Oh boy! Wow! Now that was dramatic. I did not I did not expect something quite that dramatic. Okay, it was set up to be able to explode. That's nice. That's nice. Just like in Star Wars. Hm. It didn't even do that much damage to this. Okay, there's quite a bit of damage to the city. But it didn't do as much damage as I expected for the Death Star exploding. Let's be honest. Let's be realistic here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the singularity snap. Okay, I'm going to more carefully remove the singularity snow. There we go. And now we're going to see what happens. Um, I think it'll just slowly like burn and explode, which is kind of awesome. <laughs> I don't know, I've never really thought about the Death Star literally burning apart. I mean, let's pause for a moment. We don't know... I'm not sure what the atmosphere was on the Death Star like. If they were using a higher proportion of oxygen than normal, I mean, you could have gotten a really good burn out of it, right? Right? I mean, technically, humans perform better with higher percentages of oxygen in the air, so... If you wanted, like, to have your uh, crew be almost superhuman, just super high oxygen content, and then uh, when someone lights a match and there's fuel available, boom! This, this is what we get. This is what we deserve. I like how it's wax, so the innards are just kind of like dripping out. 
That that sounds bad, but this is in context of a Death Star, not a human. So it's not it's not as bad as it sounds, okay? The fluid simulation in this game is just to die for. I will I will never get bored of watching the beautiful flames in this game. Especially if we look at something like persistence display, where we can if I can find the yeah. Oh, look at look at the turbulence. Mmm. Good, good stuff. Forget about laminar flow. We got turbulent flow over here. <laughs> ah, YouTube, stop suggesting me the same videos every day. Please. It's becoming a meme. I don't know. I feel like going on, like, a Death Star, uh, theme now. Let's do a Death Star versus a volcano. Nothing can possibly go wrong. I mean, we may have to grab a different Death Star because this one I feel like is just going to catch on fire extremely easily. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Death Star versus Vol oh shoot. Um, I made a horrible mistake by forgetting to remove <laughs> the core. Always decor your uh, Death Star. People always forget to decor their Death Star, and then they go to me and they go, Spike, why is my Death Star exploding? If you don't decor your Death Star, you're going to have a bad day. And the last day of your life at that. So, it's it's exploding again, and this is bringing up the question, like, Oh, what do we do? Everyone's dying. Well, thankfully, in life, there is always the, the console, right? Have you- have you not found the console for real life? What kind of a gamer are you? Alright, so we're gonna do set type, uh, and we'll do wax to iron. Wow, now the Death Star is no longer made of wax. And now we're gonna do set type coal to titanium. Wow, now the Death Star is actually not awful. Fantastic. So, let's go ahead and actually copy the non-awful one for use in the future. Okay, 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 okay. It was a beautiful, beautiful design. No, no harm to the person who made it. It's just very weak. So we have strengthened it. I shouldn't have used the word awful. That was mean. <laughs> that was mean. It was a brilliant... Brilliant design, just I would have chosen stronger materials myself. Alright, so, the Death Star is being hit by a volcano, you know, nor normal stuff. Uh, we are seeing, I think, the outer shell is titanium, which means it's, it's holding up quite a bit. Uh, we're going to increase the aggressiveness of this volcano by just constantly sparking it a little bit of a cheat there for your ultra volcano needs we're, we're still we're still seeing just a lot of this is just escaping and not hitting the death star so we're gonna make another tweak um, I'm going to make the uh, edge mode solid which is going to kind of trap the material inside trap that heat energy uh, we've basically just encapsulated the Death Star. That's kind of an interesting concept. Don't, I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's for the content, right? It's for the content. Alright, we got a little, little Mick Mountain growing here. This is like a Texas mountain, you know, because we, th there be no mountains. <laughs> it's so flat. <laughs> Okay, anyways, um, we got, what, not, not, not much, actually, I'm gonna be honest, I was expecting a little bit better. Um, I'm going to actually put the Death Star into the volcano, see if that gives us any interesting results. <laughs> I mean, come on, it is inside of a volcano now, it is literally plugging the volcano. We have plugged a volcano with the literal Death Star. And we should get an interesting result from this. If not, I'm gonna be extremely surprised. No. Oh. Alright, time to make it a nuclear volcano. I'm gonna mix some plutonium there. The pressure is quite high. 
Nuclear volcano! Oh. Oh. Oh! It breached. It breached the titanium. I am extremely surprised at just the absolute ability for this to not go horribly wrong. Uh, I thought the nuclear volcano would wipe it out pretty quickly, but no, the Death Star holding up pretty well, even as plasma is starting to chip away at it. We're gonna get some, like, massive spray out here from the extreme pressure. It's going, it's gonna go everywhere. There it goes. There it goes. We. I'm gonna be honest. This is holding up way better than I had expected. Um, I don't. I don't even know what to say. Like, is is the Death Star just an absolute Chad? Let's go ahead and put it up against Nahonium. You know, this is like my super unfair test I put on everything. Um, let's see how long, how long it takes. The fact that it... What? <laughs> that amount of Nahonium would do quite serious damage to almost anything else. I could have sworn that... Is it is it having a better response than just flat-out Titanium would have? I feel like Nahonium should have already eaten through this. <laughs> like... What? Hey, maybe it's maybe it's just able to carry the thermal energy away just very effectively. Is that, is that the key to just have a giant block, giant block of metal? I don't know. Maybe maybe the Death Star is just uniquely designed to be able to survive this well. Hmm. Interesting. Now we're starting we're starting to get the effects we expect uh, because it is an exponential reaction. The only issue being that if the pressure- yeah, the pressure's going up, so it's actually gonna fizzle out. Are you kidding me? The Death Star survived Nihonium? My engineers are thoroughly impressed, but I'm also thoroughly disappointed. Clearly we need- we need a little bit more encouragement. A little bit more encourage- Oh! Well, that melted a straight line through it. See, that's that's what I expected to happen the first time. I'm still I'm still very impressed. I'm still very impressed. If we put it in the center, just like, <laughs> yeah, no, no. It's all about the amount. Once you hit a certain amount of nihonium, there's just, just no handling it. Um, I don't know. We could have some fun with thorium though. Put some thorium in here. Put some, put some neutron clones in here. I feel like I don't give thorium enough love. It's like my forgotten child. Not that I would ever forget my children, but uh, I did forget about thorium. I mean, it's extremely useful for reactors. Uh, it's just not quite, it's not quite as kapow as uh, Nihonium, you know? But it's putting out some decent heat output. I mean, here we go, the Death Star it, with, with Thorium. I'm not, I'm not, it doesn't really do anything special, but it, it looks cool. It looks like it does something special. I mean, we could actually redesign this to be, uh... I mean, if we put an actual tube through here... Yeah, uh, just, just with a little bit more care. Just with a little bit of care. A little bit of improving design. We can, uh... What is going on over here? How are they even getting in? <laughs> Am I in replace mode? No. Okay. Iron. I want to place iron. I have no clue what is going on. There we go. Okay. Great. I just, I want, I want a strong, independent 
iron wall. All right. There we go. All right. Now it, it should just fire. Uh, we still have proton leakage. Uh, actually, no neutron leakage. That's a lie. All right. There we go. It's it's not it's not it's not pretty. It's definitely not pretty. But it works. Ish. I mean, sure, it occasionally leaks radioactive material. But if you can if you can get past that, it'll occasionally fire it in the correct direction. <laughs> Keyword occasionally. We're not promising some like incredible return here. I don't I don't know why we're just getting strange amounts of protons over here that just multiply for no reason whatsoever. But uh there there we go. Get a get a few of those bad boys out there. I feel like I could be much We we can we can probably do better, right? It'd probably make more sense to do a photon ray and just uh bounce bounce photons. Oh the thorium is actually getting quite hot. It's uh, definitely not as quick uh to get to those high temperatures, but it gets there eventually. Right now, let's actually make this look cool, uh, because that's the only thing that matters in science. It's just gotta look cool. And uh, get our photon ray going. Nothing could possibly go wrong. <laughs> hey, that is actually kind of like a beam. It's kind of working. The only issue is that the photons are just absolutely trapped. Uh, let's go ahead and just uh, turn this to void. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of a disappointing beam, though. I'm gonna be honest. We have a lot of we have a lot of spray, and uh, the beam isn't very strong when it exits. We we can just do a lot better, and especially if like a Tie Fighter came in. There's a slight design flaw where if just like one came in and it's at like boom, entire thing just freaking explodes. We really have to look into that. Our engineers assure us it'll never happen though, so it's okay. No worries, right? No worries. Everything's all right. Everything's gonna be fine. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. If not, the dislike button doesn't even matter anymore. So ha, eat it. What are you gonna do? Cry? Leave a leave a mean little comment. Try try your do your worst. <laughs> See you all next time. <laughs> and peace out. Wow! Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, that means you probably enjoyed the video. Thank you, and credits, gang. You guys are the best. Make sure to like, subscribe, and uh, share the channel so that we can convert more people to the greatness of Vuperia. I mean, we're like the best online fake government community. <laughs> community who can't say community. I, I am. I am thoroughly disappointed in myself. This is so sad.